Yo guys, I'm HP. This is Dr. Pink. Today's topic is Moon River, really sweet jazz standard by Henry Mancini on special request. And I made an arrangement uh, with chords and melody at the same time and, uh, and an arrangement just for the melody, which is quite simple to play. Um, but I will show you both versions. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. So I just learned the version I wrote yesterday. <laughs> so have some mercy with me. <laughs> And so on. Yo, as I said, I just wrote the arrangement yesterday. It's all written down here. So I have to do some sight reading today. That's why I'm going to need to put on my glasses. And we start first with the easy part, which is only the melody, which is really easy to play. It's quite sweet. And the second part is more for the advanced players, but it's also good to know, to the, me uh, to know the melody, even it's really simple to play. Okay, this version is in C major, so we're playing the melody in the in this position or this pattern of the C major, which is basically the the, the beginner's pattern, but it really works best in this pattern. Let's play it in this pattern, C major. Okay, so we. Um, Maybe the best thing I just play it through. Let me get a pick. So that um, we just play it through. It's not much to explain. Just let us see how it works. So. a melody. I did some sight reading here. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry for the little mistake, but uh, I was watching it. I said, oh, gee. Anyhow, <coughs> the main thing you need to know, it's a, it's a jazz vault, so you count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, either like this, or what I do, as you can hear on the bass, it makes that figure all the time. <coughs> so you to get the, that's the way which I do, do jazz vaults. I always have this ma this main basic figure moving on. It's this so one two and three one two. So I was 
two, two dotted quarter notes result in three beats. So, and that's a way to get a feel of a jazz vault. So, or even if you play chords, you know, one, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. This is a way to get the right feeling for a jazz vaults. Yo, that was really simple. So now let's get to the chords, which are a little bit more demanding. Well, the chords themselves, not so much, but if you play melody and chords at the same time, um, leads to qu some quite stretchy uh, chords. And you always need to have the melody note as the top note in the chords. So we are starting with C major 7. Just take this one here, and I'm using finger picking here, but uh, you can do with the pick as you like. It's not so much about the technique here. So C major seven to A minor eleven. I use this one here because that's really easy to grab for me in the fast way, and it sounds really nice. But um, for those who don't have that, I have quite big hands, I can do that, and it's this is quite on the edge. So if that one is too hard, you just use this one here, the A minor. I don't really like the sound of this chord, I don't use that often, but you can do it with that. So, you can one, two, three. And then comes this figure. Melody is this. So you make the F major 7 chord and just do the melody. And then you go back to the C major chord. Twice. And then comes a B minor 7 flat 5. Uh, um, with the D as a top note, so we don't have space here for the flat. Well, we could, it would be this, but that one doesn't sound nice. You just make a B minor 7, but it's meant as B minor 7 flat 5 here, 7 7 to E7 with the melody 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3. Okay. Let's do the full beginning. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's where we are now. As you can hear when I do the orchestral version, I always, that's why I use finger pecking, but I mean, you can do it however I use. I still do a little rhythm, you know. Then I use the bass note first to switch into the chord to keep the whole thing grooving. As you can hear, always the bass first. Now we are here. Now we continue. A minor 7 to C7 with G in the bass. That will be this. So 1, 2, 3 to F here to B flat 13 to B flat 7 sharp 11. And then from the E to the D. So Okay, so we have a, uh, let's go from here. And now the melody makes this. So you just make A minor. And you just follow the chord. To F sharp minor 7, flat 5. This is easy to grab here, 4th fret, 5th fret.
then comes a little turnaround with E minor to A7. I select E minor 7 here to A7 uh, flat 13 to D minor 7 to G7 13. So, and you use this rhythm I just explained. So, so one, two, and three, four. Uh, sorry, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. So that's the way it's played. That's a little turnaround at the ending. So let's play the first part through. So one. that was the first part. Second part is basically the same again, just another outcome. Start again with C major 7. Beginning is the same. And now it gets a little bit different. We make A minor 7. Then A minor G in bass. To F sharp minor flat set flat five. Then we go to F nine thirteen without the bass. And now comes the ending. C major seven. One, two, three. On one we play the F nine here. And then comes this melody part. So one, two, three, one. Again, same thing. Melody is a little bit different. It has this. And now comes the end. C major 7, 2. A minor 7, 2. D minor 7. You have to grab it this way because you have to <laughs> get the pinky way. 2. G7. G13 and we end up with a C6 here. Third, two, two. Yo, that's the whole thing. So let's play it with the backing track. guys that was moon river easy version and the second version is not so easy but it's really fun and it's a good way of learning chords or how chords are built <coughs> how you make work creative with chords and not just noodle down the, the regular chords Yo. Um, for those who my explanations were too fast Everything I said, I wrote it down for you guys. It's available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy, plus this really cool backing track. I play the bass well, the, the plug-in <laughs> I play the piano. Um, and it's only drum and bass, and it's really cool to get into this. 
the improvisation on this tune, I must admit, um, I just, as I said, I just learned the song yesterday. Um, I first need to figure out because every tune has its magic, and I personally think it's probably something really simple, you know, because the song is so sweet, and you want to give give the vibe of the song into the improvisation. And I don't think it's cool to noodle around through this song. I mean, I can try spontaneous. Um, Yeah, that will work. Keep it simple and keep it along with um, with the melody and don't go too wild and get the vibe of it, you know, this sweetness. That would work. But I first need to really figure out. Because <laughs> uh, improvisation is something, I mean, you can technically always improvise anything. But as an example, a uh, girl from Ipanema, um, I started my career as bar piano guy, played in many jazz clubs. And Girl from Ipanema back at that time was an absolute standard which you needed to play. But it took me years to figure out an improvisation which somehow went along with the vibe of this song till I found out later that this song doesn't have any improvisation. And uh, it goes, basically the melody is the perfect solution for, for that tune. And in this case, I think maybe it also is the same thing here that this the melody defines the tune so much that the improvisation itself um, probably not really works so well just you know noodle around so if you're unsure about the improvisation stick for the melody and play a little bit ar around the melody and that's what works yo that's all i have to say here if you want to have more jazz tutorials please subscribe to my channel go to the hp crazy guitar give me make suggestions there get into an interaction um, jazz is really a topic with which has to be discussed and you know there are always different ways of seeing things you know uh, especially in improvisation there are many ways you can do an improvisation so if i say this is the right improvisation that's not how it works you have to find your personal way of improvisation and there you can figure out and get more into interaction and find out more stuff. Good. Me and Dr. Pingo saying goodbye.